Hey everybody, JRS PC here with another Peck Break video, and today we're doing something a little different, going the non-sport theme. And the reason why I'm opening these packs is because a little rodent person, friend, nuisance, decided he was starving and he wanted to eat uh, the gum out of this pack, the gum out of this pack, and apparently he was full and he didn't eat the gum out of this pack. So... Otherwise, I probably wouldn't open these, but I thought these would be a great candidate to be opened on camera so you can see what it's like to open a Space 1999 pack from 1976. These are made by Don Russ. Uh, I have seen a lot, some of these get graded, and they, they do okay uh, if they're in high grade. So I thought, what do I have to lose? These packs are essentially worthless as far as I'm concerned. And if you look like over here, the corners, <laughs> corners are actually not, not even touched by the mouse. They look sharp. So I thought, let's open them. All right, but first I wanted to show you a couple things that I've had sitting here for quite some time that have been meant to, I'm, I'm meant to put on, on the, I'm meant to show you guys. Anyways, for those of you who have heard of Patrick Mahomes, I thought I would just show you a few of his dad's cards. All right, there's the man who made the legend, Patrick Mahomes Sr. This is a rookie card, 1992 upper deck. And then that's a 94 Fleer. And that's a 95, three Fleer, sorry. So pretty cool, Patrick Mahomes. Doesn't look anything like his uh, son. <laughs> so, but anyways, that's Patrick Mahomes. So, I just thought I'd show you those. And I also thought I would show you uh, just a cool card. Uh, I mean, just cool photography. Like, so this is a 1993 uh, Howard Johnson. For those of you who don't know, I'm a diehard Mets fan. I love Hojo. I met him like four times. He's super, super cool. But take a look at the back picture. Look where that ball is. Is it going to hit him in the face? Or is it going sc to scoot right by his nose? Man, that's some good photography. Anyways, I just thought I'd share that with you. All right, the one more cool card I want to show you guys. I have never been able to find one of these anywhere on eBay to compare a price or anything. And I kind of don't even remember where, I, where or how I got it. But I believe this somehow came with an album back in the day uh, as like a premium. But anyways, it's graded by uh, SGC. Take a look. 1975 Polydor Limited, number 14, Jimi Hendrix. It says guitar album. The only place I've found anything like these have been related to guitar albums. So if anybody has any idea, anything about this, uh, I'd appreciate I'd appreciate if you let me know. Here, I'll try to get this right here up there so you can kind of read that right there. Hold on a second. There you go. Nope. There you go. So that's that. It says right there it's found dead since death number of albums released. So anyways, go ahead and give that a read. And then let's get back to the show. Autofocus. Come on guys. Alright. Let's go with this one first. Oh yeah, as you can see, uh, a mouse uh, thoroughly enjoyed the gum out of here. There's no gum left. Who knows what year that happened. There's cool. Happiness is a mouthful of fruit bubble gum. Okay, how many cards are supposed to be in here? I don't even know. It says right there, uh, 1976. Um, I have no idea how many cards are supposed to be in here. <laughs> Doesn't say it anywhere, so let's take a peek here. Woohoo! All right, well, at least they're not st stuck together. There you go, guys. Take a peek. These are actually in great shape. <laughs> Got these from a friend, Steven, uh, who's a subscriber and also a personal friend of mine. There you go. So these are cool. Like I said, they're super sharp. Uh, very, very, very good condition. Uh, definitely pack fresh. It's so scary because it, look, it looks so oily and greasy on the backs of these, but then the cards are just fine. 
Okay, this one, uh, and I will be washing my hands after this because, you know, rodents. <laughs> There's one. Very nice condition. That one's a little tiny, tiny ding in that corner right there, but nothing major. Alrighty. Oh, man, scary. Alright, man, this looks like a show I definitely would definitely not have wanted to watch. Cause but this was back when the uh, whole space extravaganza was so popular. Star Trek and Planet of the Apes was before this and just lots of space themed. Okay, so let's see. Oh, here's the gum, guys. All right, who dares me to eat it? Who? Come on, don't be scared. Dare me to eat it, I'll eat it. All right, ready, here I go. I'm just kidding. There's no way in the world. My daughter, Lena, likes to watch these videos, and she gets crazy anxiety, and she would definitely go cray-cray if I ate that gum. Alrighty, there's this one. This great car right here. I believe I had this thing before. I got it from an ex-brother-in-law uh, that as a toy. He moved and said, you can have whatever we left. Alright, guys, a couple more cards. Thanks for watching this. I hope that you leave a comment. Let me know what you think. All these saggy boobs, you wouldn't have found that nowadays, huh? Been like uh, Chris Hemsworth and Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum? Is that his last name? Yeah. Anyways, that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe, and please let me know what you think of these cards. And stay tuned for the next video. Later.